Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life culture and heritage. So ladies and gentlemen, we're into race time now at the race course here in Norelia. Royal Turf Club wearing a wonderful festive look and the weather as well shining down. A lovely bright sunny day, the track condition good going. Here are the runners and riders going down to the start. It's a 1,400-meter race. You've got uh, Stormont, behind it, Nagada. Then you've got uh, Street Cat, and uh, even further behind there was uh, Zulu Fantasy. As we told you, Krabi was being taken to the gates without the rider being led over there. So, of course, the biggest race on the agenda today will be the Governor's Cup, and uh, we're really looking forward to watching that. It's got tremendous history and tradition, and uh, unfortunately, the race has been cut down to just three runners. We've had two withdrawals, but nothing to take away the heritage and tradition of a race that's been run so, so many years. Meanwhile, runners and riders are making their way to the starting gates. And uh, in the picture there is Nagada. Also in the picture is uh, Stormont. And this is the HBSL Super Challenge. So the runners and riders now getting to the 1,400-meter marker. You can see Stormont there, Nagada. Slight change in the colors. He's wearing a red cap. And uh, Street Cat has also got to the gates. Krabi has also been led to the gates without the rider. And so is Zulu Fantasy. So we should be seeing loading operations commence very shortly for this uh, HPSL Super Challenge. And a very warm welcome to HPSL, making their first foray into the sponsorship arena here at the Royal Turf Club. Wonderful to have you with us. And we look forward to a long, ongoing relationship. So meanwhile, the horses behind the gates. That's a lovely drone shot you've got of the runners and riders. You can see Stormont in red. You can see uh, Nagada with the red cap. That's uh, Zulu Fantasy in front of you there. Zulu Fantasy in white. Street Cat is the one in green with the blue sleeves. So the Royal Turf Club race course here in Norelia, one of the highest race courses in the world and easily one of the most picturesque and beautiful race courses you'd ever see. So just waiting for loading operations. And we think we, they're underway now. So we've got a wonderful race guard ahead of you. Six races 
starting now 10.30 and uh, ending up at 1.30. So a lot of racing, a lot of excitement, and uh, we really look forward to a great day at the races here in Norelia at the Royal Turf Club. So the riderless Krabi playing up a bit before the start. Loading operations uh, have commenced and they're going to probably try and get Krabi into the gates uh, without the rider. She's always been a bit of a difficult customer, a little moody. As they walk her towards the gates and the handler's doing a good job there with Krabi. She's gone in without the rider. Jockey getting back into the saddle. The next one to be walked to the gates there is Street Cat. So Street Cat, Stormont, Zulu Fantasy, and uh, Nagada are the ones still to be stalled. And you've got some great coverage there in front of you. On the screen, you can see uh, Street Cat being walked up. And Street Cat has been stalled without any problems. The handler's doing a great job out there. The next one to walk up will be Nagada. And Nagada. Nagada a little reluctant there, but uh, they coax him in very well indeed. Nagada has been stalled. They just wait now for Zulu Fantasy, and uh, Zulu Fantasy will come to complete the line. Stormont will be the last one to complete the line of five for this HPSL Super Challenge. They're all in, and they're away in racing for the HPSL Super Challenge Trophy. Level break, and as they settle down, Street Cat gets down to business by about a length and a half, two lengths there from uh, Krabi in second position. About uh, two lengths adrift, and we go back then to, uh, uh, to Nagada. On the inside there is uh, Zulu Fantasy, and way back in the rear, we've got uh, Stormont. So as the field now hits the downhill trend and they're going at quite a clip and uh, it's uh, now Zulu Fantasy who's taken it up. Zulu Fantasy by about three and a half, four lengths separating her from in second position there, Nagada. Street Cat is now in third. In fourth position there making a bit of a forward move is Stormont and in the rear comes Krabi. They're beginning to negotiate the turn now and uh, Zulu Fantasy has broken away into a lead of almost five, six lengths there of, of uh, on the inside then comes uh, Nagada, and we go back to Stormont, followed there by, in the rear, Krabi. Round the turn now into the straight, and Zulu Fantasy comes in home first. Still got a very useful lead of about three and a half, four, five lengths from Stormont. Then there's, uh, there's Street Cat, but they're all in hopeless chase. The HBSL Super Challenge is all over. It's all, all Zulu Fantasy, winning as she likes. From, Storm, from Street Cat in second and in third there was Stormont. <coughs> so the outcome of the first race, won here by number, number four, Zulu Fantasy, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, trained by Mahesh, ridden by Akash Agarwal, making all the running, took it over roughly from the 1200 meter marker 
And after that, there was no looking back. So no hard luck stories. The winner of the HPSL Super Challenge Trophy won by number four, Zulu Fantasy, written here by Akash Agarwal, trained by Mahesh, and sporting the colors of Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you very much. So that was race number one, and we're waiting for the official results. And uh, while we do that, can we have a big round of applause for the winner of race number one, HPSL Super Challenge Trophy, Zulu Fantasy. That was a fantastic run, and we had fantastic entertainment. Many congratulations, Zulu Fantasy. And uh, we have the custom customary couple of moments for our photographers to capture the winning combination owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards and trained by S.D. Mahesh and uh, the winning jockey Akash Agrawal. Many congratulations. So that's race number one, HPSL Super Challenge Trophy. Here at the RTC Governor's Cup 2024 race day and the 151st Governor's Cup uh, racing day here in Little England, Norelia. So we just completed race number one. Many congratulations to the winners and get ready for race number two, which will happen at approximately 11.10. And that is the Ministry of Sports and uh, Tourism Trophy that's coming up. So we'll be having lots of entertainment as well uh, in the midst of uh, horse racing. We'll be having one of the finest bands in town, the Gypsies. Well, the, they're set and ready, and the Gypsies will be coming alive uh, shortly. And uh, we're eagerly awaiting uh, a spot of entertainment from uh, Gypsies as well. And not forgetting the other races to follow. Uh, all in all, we have six races, one down and five more to go. And the signature one, the most uh, looked forward to race is the RTC Governor's Cup race. And that's a signature race happening at 1.10 p.m. So get ready for that. And uh, we'll be having the presentation shortly. The presentation of the trophies will be happening uh, shortly. The HPSL Super Challenge Trophy and the RTC Governor's Cup 2024 is powered by HPSL, the Horsepower Sports League, a different league. Thank you very much for HPSL, for the trust and confidence that you have praised in Sri Lanka and also the Royal Turf Club. And uh, thank you very much for uh, coming forward as our main sponsor. And as Cyrus mentioned, we're looking forward to... Um, many more uh, collaborations with HBSL and uh, we are really really delighted to have the chairman and managing director of HBSL Mr. Suresh uh, Pala good Mr. Suresh Pala Dugu who is here together with the uh, HBSL team thank you very much for being present here uh, and we thank you on behalf of the Royal Turf Club all right so race number 1 is done we're looking forward to race number 2 which is the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy uh, which will happen at 11.10. So we have a little more uh, time for that. Family Center of Sildenaru Navadak Navadak Subhidawasak Subha Alut Aurudak Veva Eva Gema Obagi Prathanayan Obagi Sihina Eva Gema Sihilu Prathanayan Ishtabena Vasarak Veva Eva Gema Nathorak Subha Eva Gema Saamen Piri Saturin Piri Nau Vasarak Veva Kela Bu Sildenaru Ma Prathanayak Rasitno I am the RTC Magid Sangidhane Karana, RTC Governor's Cup, the Das Visi Hatara, Turk Targa Vilitai, Obame Sildina Sabagu Sidine, Ebagi Mount Karanepa, May Silu Vedakatu, Apisaji Viva, 
ලක්වාසි ලෝකවාසි සියලු දිනාටම සජීවීව මේ අද්දැකීම් ලබා ගන්න හැකියාව තියෙනවා RTC එහෙම නැත්නම් Royal Turf Club Facebook page එක ඒ වගේම The Papare TV dialog TV හරහා එන The Papare TV page එකෙන් page එකනුත් එහෙම නැත්නම් channel එකනුත් ඔබට සජීවීව මේ අද්දැකීම දැක බලා ගන්න ඒ වගේම රස විඳින්න අවස්ථාව ඔබ සියලු දිනාටම තියෙනවා ඉතින් දෙවෙනි තරගයේ පැවැත්වෙන්නේ In a world, animals hold a timeless connection with humanity, a bond woven in the fabric of nature. Through the ages, they've graced our lives with love and understanding. Among them, horses stand as our enduring companions, sharing our journey through war and peace, work and play, revealing a profound connection that transcends words. It is in the depths of a horse's soulful eyes that we find a reflection of our own aspirations and dreams. Delve into history's enduring tales, where legends embraced horses not just as symbols of strength, but as part of their victory. Witness their emotional connection with these majestic animals, embodying grace, grandeur, and unwavering mastery. In today's world, humans and horses have evolved their bond. Beyond transport and labor, horses now shine in sports, therapy, and recreation. Stay tuned for an exhilarating revelation. Get ready for an emotional journey. We're unveiling the celebration of the timeless bond between humans and horses. Brace yourself for an unforgettable exploration of their incredible partnership. Horsepower Sports League.
catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Premier League. 74 matches for just rupees 249 plus taxes. Live on the Papare.com. The Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action going to be the slogan for the president for the next election believe me that's going to be his slogan
Thank you, Bella. Thank you very much. Thank you to the gypsies. Can we have a big round of applause? Come on, everybody, for the gypsies. Now we're going to have more of the gypsies. But right now, uh, you need to focus your attention. If you're seated in the, in the grandstand, you need to focus your attention to your extreme left or the screen in front of you. And that gives uh, the footage of uh, the parade ring. So up there in the com uh, commentary box, we have Cyrus Madhav. So Cyrus will take over a commentary because we are ready for race number two. Over to you, Cyrus. Well, we still got time for one more quick number, I think, and the gypsies are just amazing. So let's hear it again from the gypsies. A quick song from you, and then we move into the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy. <coughs> right, so ladies and gentlemen, we can have another treat. One more before race number two. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we have a song from Monique. All right, guys, let's hear it for the gypsies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's still morning, but it's never too early to do a little bit of swing. Right, so if you're in the mood, you can always sway along with us. Shit up. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, do we have time for one more song? Do we? Go for it. Go for it. Yes? We have been granted permission for one more. Something from Josh Turner, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chanel. Yes. Just to be your man. This is for the ladies. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Maybe we ain't got a place 
gentlemen that was the gypsies for you and now we move into the second race of the cards the ministry of sports and tourism trophy runners and riders already at the starting gates we should be having loading operations that will start any minute from now it's looking all right and a lovely morning here in norelia you can see the horses on your screen that's mystic flame in the pink with the green stars then you've got uh, glittering in white so a nice high shot there of the horses rolling behind the gates we'll just run through the colors for you you've got uh, mystic flame in pink you've got queen's hall in uh, green with the blue sleeves and the blue cap and then you've got admiral nelson who's uh, green with the blue sleeves and the white cap behind him glittering and uh, we're still waiting for God's word, who was giving them a lot of trouble going to the gates. He's being led there, and, uh, really been taking his own time. He's not very happy to be walking in reverse towards the 1400 meter marker. But we're waiting for God's word to reach. And once he does, we should be starting loading operations for the second race. But what a day's sport we've got in store for you today. You've got the Queen's Cup. You've got the Governor's Cup. You've got the Ministry of Sports and Tourism Trophy. You've got the Japanese Ambassador Cup. And you've got HPSL, who have come in as sponsors for the first time at the Royal Turf Club here in Norelia. So they seem to be having major problems there with uh, God's word. He's just uh, refusing to walk his way towards the starting gates. He's. Uh, between the 1600 meter marker and the 1400 meter marker. The rest of them just waiting patiently for God's word to give the word that he's ready to move towards the starting gates. But a quick run through of the horses behind so you can identify them. You can see uh, Mystic Flame in pink, glittering in white. And then you've got uh, the two of them from the Jairatna symbol in the green with the blue sleeves. Queen's Hall with the blue cap and uh, 
Admiral Nelson with the white cap. Godsworth finally seems to be making his way towards the starting gates. Almost race time. But Godsworth finally getting to the starting gates. He's really taken his time about getting there. And uh, they've had to put the blindfolds on God's word. That was the only way they could convince him to get to the starting stalls. The other four runners waiting patiently there for God's word to complete the line. But they started loading operations. And the first one into the gates is Queen's Hall. Queen's Hall has been stalled. And this race, named the Ministry of Sport and Tourism Trophy, well, racing really attracts tourists from all over the world and to different places in the world. So tourism plays a very important role, and racing is so much a part of tourism. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Admiral Nelson, who's moved in with the white cap. You've got uh, Glittering now moving up to the gates. Glittering has moved in. They're all going in well. We just wait to see what God's word is going to do because he's worked himself up. That's uh, Mystic Flame now walking towards the gates. And Mystic Flame turns away. So Mystic Flame and God's Word are the two out behind. Mystic Flame with the blindfolds on, now being walked up. So once again, Mystic Flame turns away from the gates. So we've got a lovely crowd here coming in on this beautiful morning here in Norelia. They try Mystic Flame once more. And this time, Mystic Flame has been stalled. So they just wait now for God's Word to complete the line of five. And God's Word with the blindfolds on, walking quietly towards the gates. And God's Word has moved in, all five runners in the stalls. And they're off and racing and losing about a distance at the start there was glittering. But as they settled down, it was Admiral Nelson who was the first to show out in the early stages. Admiral Nelson from the stablemate Queen's Hall in second position. And a further three lengths away then we had uh, Mystic Flame and way back out of it completely there was uh, glittering. But as they hit the downhill trend and it continues to be Admiral Nelson, just the leader from God's Word, who's moved into second. In third position and tracking them is Queen's Hall. A big gap of a distance behind, we've got uh, Mystic Flame, and out of it completely there is Glittering. So it's become a three-horse race as they begin to negotiate the turn, and it continues to be Admiral Nelson, just the leader there. In second position is God's Word, just behind, very closely grouped, then comes Queen's Hall. There's three of them all running together now as they come into view now and take that sharp left-handed turn to come towards the straight. And uh, it's still on the inside there. We are Queen's Hall getting a lovely run. God's Word coming very wide on the stand side, but moving up under the stick as they straighten up. Queen's Hall shifting off a straight course, but still the leader by about a length and a half, two lengths from God's Word, trying to challenge. But Queen's Hall is going too well for anyone. Queen's Hall is going to win the Ministry of Tourism and Sport. Start easily from God's Word. Then came Glittering, followed there by, uh, in the rear then we had uh, Admiral Nelson. So the outcome of the second race,
the Ministry of Sport and Tourism trophy being won here by number one, Queen's Hall, owned by Hasanga Jayaratne and Mrs. Baba Jayaratne, trained by Mathia Lagan and ridden here by Sai Kumar. So he tracked his stable mate all the way into the straight and then came up with a sustained run in the closing stages to win quite convincingly in the end. Godsword did come in with a challenge at the top of the straight, but Queen's Hall just had too much in the tank for him to take care of. So the outcome of the second race, the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy, won by number one, Queen's Hall, coming out to win very convincingly from uh, God's Word, who was in second. We wait for the outcome of the other places from the judge, but no question about the winner. The winner of the second race, the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy, won by the nine-year-old Bay Mayor, Queen's Hall, the property of Hasanga Jayaratne and Mrs. Baba Jayaratne, trained by Mathia Lagan, written here by P. Sai Kumar. Stayed in third position most of the way, then came with a run, and after that, he managed to hold off an early challenge from God's word, and in the end, he was going extremely well. Despite shifting off a straight course, in the straight, Queen's Hall still had too much for anyone else to handle. So here he is, she is coming back, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the second race, number one, Queen's Hall, the winner, number five, God's Word is second. So there's the winner, ladies and gentlemen, the proud property of uh, Hasanga Jayaratne and Baba Jayaratne. And, uh, He allowed his stablemate to do the running, and then, just when it counted, P. Sai Kumar got Queen's Hall into top gear, and despite shifting out, came out to win very, very convincingly in the end. So the outcome of the second race, the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy, won by number one, Queen's Hall, trained by Mathia Lagan, ridden by Sai Kumar, the property of Hasanga Jayaratne, and Baba Jayaratne. So a facile winner and uh, returning in triumph there, Queen's Hall. Back to you, Clifford. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you very much. And that was the completion of race number two, the Ministry of Sports and Tourism Trophy. Can we have another big round of applause for Queen's Hall? People, make some noise. All right. So we're done with two races, right? How many races do we have? How many more? We have four more races. Yes, very good. And, uh, and out of the four more races, the signature one, the most important one is the RTC Governor's Cup, which will be run at approximately 1.10. And uh, now, before we come to the third race, the third race is uh, the uh, Japanese Ambassador Cup, which will be run at uh, approximately 11.00. 50. Talking of the Japanese ambassador crop, I can see in uh, the VIP area, the Japanese ambassador to Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mizukoshi Hideki, Your Excellency, a very warm welcome on behalf of the Royal Turf Club and Madam, very warm welcome. And uh, thank you for being present here. And uh, your presence is definitely a great honor. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have more music. And by the way, by the way, you know, when gypsies play, uh, you just... Uh, do not have to sit and wait, okay? So we don't have a dance floor, but we have uh, ample opportunity for you to dance, okay? So this green is, uh, we're gonna we can convert this to a dance floor, okay? Though there's a little bit of uh, inclination, no problem, right? You can dance, you can sit and enjoy. Well, the choice is yours, okay? So we have a great dance as well. Mrs. Suranjit Premadas. One of the past presidents of uh, Royal Surf Club. Why don't we have Suranjit to come out of the floor, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. If you like, you can dance. Okay. If you like, you can sit and enjoy. Right. All Choice right, is yours. You can, you can join with me in this. Right. So All now, right. Uh, now, as you say, uh, there's uh, no dance floor, but uh, don't save your 
uh, dance for last one to for the last dance so you can come on to the floor and Clifford is going to join me with this song all right let's but, go my goodness but yeah, the song yeah you just follow <laughs> just uh, he knows this uh, song very well all right so. the gypsies all right move everybody move move while you're seated You can dance, every dance with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile, every smile for the man who held your hand near the pale light. But don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. Oh, darling. Save the last dance for me. Say it for me, people. Oh, I know that the music's fine, like a sparkling wine. Go and have your fun. Laugh and sing, but while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone. Cause don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, save the last dance for me. Love you so, can't you feel it when we touch? I will never ever let you go. Oh, I love you so much. You can dance, go and carry on till the night is gone and it's time to go. If he asks, if you're all alone, can you take me home? You must tell him no. Cause don't forget who's taking you home and in whose arms you're gonna be. So darling, save the last dance for me. Shana, what about crazy? All right, here's Shana with crazy little thing called Some love. From Queen. Here we go. Uh, how's Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, crazy little thing called love. And when you find it, you hope and pray, it's perfect. Am I right? So we're going to take things down nice and easy. This is the, the love song of the decade, I think. And of course, where first dancers are concerned we're in, at any wedding, right? This is from Ed Sheeran. We're going to do a duet. Perfect. Nothing but perfection. All right. Let's go. You can hold your loved one's hand, by the way. I found a love for me. Darling, just die right in and follow my lead. And I found a girl. We were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up This time Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes you're whole In my But underneath my breath You heard it Darling, you look perfect tonight And I found a man Stronger than anyone I know He shares my dreams I hope that someday I'll share his hope Just my secrets to carry love, to carry children of our own. We are still kids, but we're so in love, fighting against all.
Darling, you look perfect tonight. Thank you, thank you. All right, from one love song to the other. I hope uh, that this is the first singular song we are going to play today. This is from Sunilaya. So I hope all of you know this song. This is the most popular gypsy song, if I say. I believe this is the most popular gypsy song. Over the two A moving it. I I want all of you to join and sing with us. Let's go. Over the two A moving it. See the world someday. Get on to more of that kind of music later on, but uh, for now we are going to have another English song. Okay, Chanel, what do you like to sing? Oh, we're gonna sweat, already sweating. I'll be watching you.
We're really having a super, super duper time with the company of Gypsies. Uh, Cyrus, do we have uh, time for one more song? Or you want to focus? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see to your extreme left, we have the runners who've come uh, onto the parade ring. And that's for the race number three, Japanese Ambassadors Cup. So taking over from top, uh, from where you are at the commentary box is Cyrus. Over to you, Cyrus. Thank you to the Gypsies. Thank you very much. Looks like we have uh, a little bit of audio issue up there. So until such time, just to let you know that we're getting ready for race number three, the RTC Governors Cup 2024. We completed two races, and race number three is about to begin. We have the runners in the parade ring. And Cyrus, if, when you're ready, uh, from there, you can give me a thumbs up, and then I will hand over Hello. the microphone to you. So it looks like we're ready to go. Hello, Chick. Yeah. yeah, we're ready to go, and uh, it's been a great morning here. We've had uh, two races so far, the first one by Zulu Fantasy and the second one by Queen's Hall. A talk of a little bit of deja vu over there because uh, it's uh, Queen's Cup Day here at the Royal Turf Club. So it was only natural that <coughs> Queen's Hall would come out to win the Ministry of Sport Tourism Trophy. So the runners and riders for the third race, ladies and gentlemen, the Japanese Ambassadors Cup are in the parade ring. And uh, this is also to tell you that after the race is over and after we get a couple of songs in from the gypsies, we'll be doing the presentation of the first three races together. So that's the HPSL Super Challenge Trophy. And uh, we're going to have Mr. Suresh Paladugu, who's going to be doing the honors over there. Mr. Panadugo is the chairman and MD of HBSL who is sponsoring today. The second race, the Ministry of Sport and Tourism Trophy, won here by Queen's Hall, and uh, doing the honors for that will be uh, the Honorable Harin Fernando, the Minister of Tourism, Sports, L Land, and Youth Affairs. And after that, ladies and gentlemen, the running of the third race and we'll have the Japanese Ambassadors Cup and His Excellency the Ambassador of Japan to Sri Lanka 
Mr. Mizu Mizukoshi will uh, be presenting the trophy. So three presentations back to back, and uh, after that, it'll be the gypsies once again. But for the present, you've got a nice group photograph there in the parade ring for this uh, Japanese Ambassador Cup, and a very, very warm welcome to His Excellency, Mr. Mizukoshi, the Ambassador of Japan to Sri Lanka. His first visit here to the Royal Turf Club. Just three horses lining up to face the starter for this uh, third race. And uh, a lovely morning here in Norelia. It's bright and sunny, a little bit of cloud cover so the sun doesn't get too sharp. We've got some fabulous entertainment that's been brought to us by the gypsies. They're really making it rock. And we're just waiting now for the runners and riders to come out from the parade ring to come onto the racetrack for this uh, third race, the Japanese Ambassador's Cup, which is also being run over a distance of 1,400 meters. So those are the colors you see in front of you. You've got Santos in blue, Crack of Dawn in white, and Fabulous Show in green. So they're coming out now from the parade ring onto the racetrack, and uh, the next race on the agenda is one of the two really big ones, that's the Queen's Cup, and that's going to be followed by the RTC Governor's Cup. So here they come, ladies and gentlemen, onto the racetrack now, led out by number one, Santos. He's uh, being ridden here by Akash Agarwal, trained by Mahesh. <laughs> number two in the lineup is uh, Crack of Dawn. She's a bay mare, eight years old, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, trained by S.D. Mahesh and being ridden here by Kaviraj. And number three is Fabulous Show, the property of Gamini Jayaratne and Chamari Jayaratne, trained here by Mathia Lagan and ridden by Sai Kumar. So the three rudders making their way to the starting gates, 1,400 meters for this uh, Japanese Ambassador's Cup. And uh, as we said, after that, a couple of songs from Gypsies, and then the presentation of the three races together, back to back. But they're on their way to the gates, and you can identify them just looking at the colors. That's how you see them. You've got uh, Santos in blue. You've got Crack of Dawn in white. And you've got Fabulous Show in green. So those are the runners on their way to the starting gates. And... Uh, The excitement really building up here at Norelia at the Royal Turf Club for the next two races, which will be the RTC Queen's Cup and the RTC Governor's Cup. Both these races steeped in heritage and tradition. And uh, it's really wonderful to see that tradition and heritage being kept alive here by the Royal Turf Club. The runners and riders getting to the starting gates. You can see uh, Crack of Dawn has already reached. Looking very well was Crack of Dawn. Just behind was Santos in blue and Fabulous Show in green. So all three runners now at the gates. They've still got a couple of minutes before they begin loading operations. So let me give you a little bit of a history of, the, of racing in Sri Lanka. It goes back many, many years, and it only got revived, really, in 2016, after it had been dormant and shut down for over two decades. The RTC Queen's Cup and the RTC Governor's Cup. Both these races, tremendous tradition and heritage attached to them, ladies and gentlemen. In 1910, we saw the Governor of Ceylon coming in, Sir Henry McCallum, and it was resolved that the, Bombay, the Colombo based Ceylon Turf Club would be in a better position to manage Norelia Racecourse in those days. But today, it's thanks to the Royal Turf Club that Norelia once again sees the racecourse vibrant, green, and flourishing. So it's been a tough time, it's been a difficult time for them. Those are the colors you see in front of you. 
Number three is Fabulous Show, being ridden there by P. Sai Kumar. If you remember, he just came out to win the last race on Queen's Hall. While uh, number one is Santos, sporting the colors of uh, Mrs. Dagmar Vochri, and trained here by Mahesh, ridden by Akash Agarwal. Akash won the first race of the day on Zulu Fantasy. So it's not just the races that are run here that are steeped in history and tradition. So too is this race course at Norelia. It's one of the highest race courses in the world and still functioning. And it's brought racing back to life in Sri Lanka. So take a bow, Royal Turf Club, because that's how it came into being. And here's hoping that it carries on for many, many years after that. So we're still waiting for loading operations. On the screen there, you could see uh, Crack of Dawn. Crack of Dawn, an eight-year-old bay mare. Santos is a 10-year-old chestnut. And uh, Fabulous Show is an eight-year-old chestnut mare. So just three lining up for the Japanese Ambassador Cup. But it promises to be an engaging affair. We're still waiting for loading operations, which should be commencing any moment now. So you'll probably be seeing Crack of Dawn, the first to walk in to stall number one. And the horses are now being stalled. That was Santos who had moved in. Next one into the gates would be Fabulous Show. Fabulous Show getting in. And the last one into the gates, drawn one, will be Crack of Dawn. The handlers taking their time there with Crack of Dawn. Crack of Dawn now being walked up. <coughs> and Crack of Dawn goes in without any trouble. All three runners in the gates for the Japanese Ambassador Cup. And they're off and racing for the Japanese Ambassador Cup. Santos kicks out first in the early stages, but there's three of them in a line as they hit the rising ground. And uh, in front, it's Crack of Dawn and Fabulous Show. These two have pulled away now from Santos, who's dropped back into a faraway third. But as they come into view and they're freewheeling downhill now, and Crack of Dawn has taken up the running by about three and a half, four lengths there, separating her from Fabulous Show in second. About five to six lengths adrift there. Running last of three is Santos. They now started to negotiate the turn, and it continues to be Crack of Dawn, just the leader, from Fabulous Show, about two lengths adrift in second, and about four lengths behind in third position is Santos. They're running in single file as they begin to come towards that sharp left-handed turn, and it continues to be Crack of Dawn, and she's pulled away now by almost about three and a half, four lengths. The good of Fabulous Show coming under a bit of pressure there and being pushed, and then comes Santos, who's in third and getting closer. But as they straighten for the final run in, and Crack of Dawn on the inside, facing a big challenge here from Fabulous Show on the stand side. It's Fabulous Show now from Crack of Dawn. Fabulous Show and Crack of Dawn fighting it out. They're going at it neck and neck. Fabulous Show, Crack of Dawn, Crack of Dawn, Fabulous Show. Fabulous Show and Crack of Dawn locked together in a tremendous finish for this Japanese Ambassador Cup. <laughs> well, we said there were just three runners, but it was going to be a real exciting affair. And it certainly turned out to be that all the way. They turned for home, crack of dawn on the inside, with 
Coming up on the outside, there was fabulous show with P. Sai Kumar riding like a man possessed. He got that extra out. He got the winner and came out to win it. We'll wait for the judges' placings, but the unconfirmed result is the Japanese Ambassador's Cup has been won by number three, Fabulous Show, who just about edged out Crack of Dawn on the inside as they went past the finish. We have to wait for the judges' placings on this one, but it did look as though it was number three. So the runners and riders return with Fabulous Show, owned by Gamini Jayaratne and Chamari Jayaratne, just coming out to win this Japanese Ambassador Cup from Crack of Dawn, who made all her own running and almost pulled it off before Fabulous Show came out and just produced that little bit extra in the last 100 meters to grab it and win. So here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. P. Sai Kumar riding a wonderful race, getting everything out of Fabulous Show to come out to win the Japanese Ambassador Cup. He was in second most of the way and then essayed a very strong challenge on uh, Crack of Dawn, who looked like she had stolen it at the top of the straight with a lead of almost about three and a half, four lengths. But Sai Kumar certainly knew what he was on. He continued to push all the way down the straight and in the end it was fabulous show just getting the better of crack of dawn by a very small margin so excitement really building up and it's certainly built up on the racetrack with a fabulous show trained here by Mathia Lagan written by Sai Kumar the property of Gamini Jayaratne and Mrs. Chambri Jayaratne winning the Japanese Ambassador Cup over to you Clifford Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you very much. Well, well, what an excitement that was created for the Japanese C Ambassador's Cup. And it couldn't have got closer than that absolute entertainment there. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, a fabulous round of applause for Fabulous Show, the winner of uh, Japanese Ambassador's uh, Cup. We're waiting for the judges' placements as well. Many congratulations to Mr. Gamani Jayaratna and Mrs. Chambari Jayaratna, the owners of Fabulous Show, and also trained by SV Madhya Lagan and the winning jockey, P. Sai Kumar. Many congratulations to uh, those winning forces. The RTC Governors Cup 2024, we're done with uh, three races, and as Cyrus mentioned, we'll be having the presentation time shortly. So we have three trophies to be presented, so you can see the array of trophies in the presentation area, and uh, very colorfully uh, decorated with some uh, fabulous flowers there. And uh, these trophies will be presented, so three trophies will be uh, presented shortly, and that is race number one, two, and three. And remember, uh, race four is the RTC Queen's Cup. Get ready. And that's uh, happening at 12.30, approximately 12.30. So we have a little more than uh, 30 minutes to go for that. And also the big one, the huge one, the signature race for the day. The RTC Governor's Cup 2024. The RTC Governor's Cup race will be run at approximately 1.10. Get ready for that as well. And also the final race, which is the HPSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy to be run at 150. So get ready for all those. And all these is powered by HPSL, the Horsepower Sports League, a different league. A big thank you to HPSL, our main sponsor. Right. So while we get ready for the presentation, once again, we have the pleasure of inviting gypsies for more music. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some nice people. My goodness, people have got a very silent. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what we can do for you. All right.
Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life, culture, and heritage. Red line. Zero point. It's a race win for Jorge Martin, and he is the world championship leader. Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, 
simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life, culture, and heritage. In a world, animals hold a timeless connection with humanity, a bond woven in the fabric of nature. Through the ages, they've graced our lives with love and understanding. Among them, horses stand as our enduring companions, sharing our journey through war and peace, work and play, revealing a profound connection that transcends words. It is in the depths of a horse's soulful eyes that we find a reflection of our own aspirations and dreams. Delve into history's enduring tales, where legends embraced horses not just as symbols of strength, but as part of their victory. Witness their emotional connection with these majestic animals, embodying grace, grandeur, and unwavering mastery. In today's world, humans and horses have evolved their bond. Beyond transport and labor, horses now shine in sports, therapy, and recreation. Stay tuned for an exhilarating revelation. Get ready for an emotional journey. We're unveiling the celebration of the timeless bond between humans and horses. Brace yourself for an unforgettable exploration of their incredible partnership. Horsepower Sports League.
yourself. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Our main sponsor. And taking us through the presentation will be Cyrus. Over to you, Cyrus. So, ladies and gentlemen, the HPSL Super Challenge Trophy won by Zulu Fantasy. Owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. And Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Edwards, please come up for the trophy. And we're going to present Mr. Suresh Paladugu, the chairman and MD of HPSL, will be doing the honors. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the first visit of uh, Suresh Paladugu and HPSL as a corporate sponsor at the Royal Turf Club. So this was won by Zulu Fantasy, trained, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, and the trophy being presented. The trainer, S.D. Mahesh. And the jockey, Akash Agarwal. So ladies and gentlemen, the winning team for the HPSL Super Challenge Trophy won here by Zulu Fantasy. And after having done the honors, we're going to get uh, Mr. Suresh Paladugu to come out and uh, just say a few words. Suresh, can we have you here? So ladies and gentlemen, HPSL and Suresh Paladugu coming in to support the Royal Turf Club. Tell us a little about HPSL. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thanks for having me here, especially uh, Royal Turf Club board members and everyone. And Minister, Mr. Uh, Harin, uh, thank you for having uh, us here. Uh, HPSL Horsepower Sports League, it's an equestrian focused company where we are trying to promote sports tourism and uh, the game of equestrian and horse racing in India and uh, Sri Lanka. And this is my second visit to Sri Lanka and this is amazing. I, in fact, I see a lot of potential in making this a, a, a sports tourism center. And thanks for everyone for calling me here. And I'm glad to be here. And I wish to continue the same to support Sri Lankan horse racing and Royal Turf Club. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Suresh Paladugu. <coughs> and we request the presentation party to remain in the presentation area. Thank you very much, Mr. Paladugu. You did mention about sports tourism, and Sri Lanka is, in fact, also very passionate about promoting sports tourism because we have a very conducive environment, because we have political stability and also economic stability as well. So, we are going to make use of this tool sports tourism to definitely make Sri Lanka more and more prominent in the world map and uh, thankfully we have a minister who is extremely passionate and uh, giving dynamic leadership to uh, sports as well as sports tourism as well and in fact the race number two is the Ministry of Sports uh, and Tourism trophy that will go to be presented and to do that we would like to very warmly invite the Honorable Harin Fernando, Minister of Tourism, Lands, Sports and Youth Affairs. We request the presentation party to remain. Mrs. Paldugo, we request you to remain in the presentation area and uh, so the officials are making their way to uh, the grandstand to accompany the Honorable Harim Fernando, the Minister of uh, Tourism, Land, Sports and Youth Affairs. Come on ladies and gentlemen, could you please put your hands together for the Honorable Harim Fernando because he will be presenting the Ministry of Sports and Tourism Trophy, the second race that was run uh, at the RTC Governors Cup 2024. Over to you Cyrus. Thank you Clifford. And a very warm welcome into the presentation area, ladies and gentlemen, to the Honorable Minister of Tourism, Land, Sports and Youth Affairs, the Honorable Harin Fernando. Very warm welcome, sir. So this is the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy, and it was won by Queen's Hall, owned by Harasanga Jayaratne and Mrs. Baba Jayaratne. The trophy being taken here by Asanga Jayaratne and the Honorable Minister of sports, tourism, land, and uh, youth affairs, 
the Honorable Harim Fernando will be doing the honors. So as we said a little earlier, ladies and gentlemen, it was quite a case of deja vu because we've got the Queen's Cup coming up next and the Ministry of Sport and Tourism trophy was won by Queen's Hall. So that was almost telling you something. So that we'll have some nice photograph now. And we want the jockey and trainer. Queen's Hall was trained by Matia Lagan. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen. And he was ridden by jockey B. Sai Kumar. So that's the winning combination of the Ministry of Sports and Tourism trophy, won by the Bay Mayor Queen's Hall, owned by Hasanga Jayaratne, Mrs. Baba Jayaratne, trained by S.V. Mathia Lagan, and ridden here by P. Sai Kumar. And a quick word with the Honorable Minister before he runs away into the shade. So wonderful to have you here with us, sir. Royal Turf Club have certainly done an amazing job in reviving racing. What do you think it still needs? More races. <laughs> well, with, with the first time we've seen you here, and we love to see your support. And I'm sure with that, Royal Turf Club and racing in Sri Lanka is really going to blossom. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Gentlemen, we'd like to kindly re request you to remain on stage. Honorable Minister, gentlemen, can we request you to kindly remain on stage? Because we have one more presentation before we send all of you to the shade, as I was mentioned. And that is race number three, Japanese Ambassadors Cup. And we'd like to take this opportunity now to uh, invite another very special gentleman to join uh, the uh, uh, presentation area. And that is the Japanese Ambassador himself in Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mizukoshi Hideki. Let's put our hands together and welcome the Japanese Ambassador. And uh, he will be a part of the presentation party. And uh, in fact, uh, we are about to present the Japanese Ambassadors Cup, and that is race number three that was conducted here at the RTC Governors Cup 2024. So, ladies and gentlemen, the presentation for the third race, the Japanese Ambassadors Cup. And please welcome on stage His Excellency, Mr. Mizukoshi the ambassador from Japan to Sri Lanka. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen. So RTC really getting an international flavor here. And the Japanese Ambassador's Cup was won by fabulous show, the property of Mrs. Mr. Gamini Jay Ratne and Chamri Gamini Ratne. So a back-to-back -back double here for the Jai Ratnais with Queen's Hall and Fabulous Show and the Ambassador of Japan, His Excellency, Mr. Mizukoshu, doing the honors. And Fabulous Show, written, trained by S.V. Madhyalagdham. And written by P. Sai Kumar. So ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for professional honors here. We've had trainer Mathia Lagan and P. Sai Kumar pulling off a back-to-back -back double. They won it with Queen's Hall, and then Sai Kumar rode an absolute splendid race to come out to win on Fabulous Show. But it's wonderful to have the ambassador over here with us. And a quick word, Your Excellency, a very warm welcome to Royal Turf Club. Your first visit to the Royal Turf Club? Yes, this is my first visit, and I was very much impressed by the race and uh, the audience very, uh, in a very fashionable uh, attires. So I like this very much. Well, we hope to see you more often. And a wonderful bond has always been there between Japan and Sri Lanka, hasn't it? Yes, um, our uh, relationship is uh, very long-lasting, but today I found uh, this uh, Japan-Sri Lanka cooperation extends to horse racing as uh, Mr. Hakaria is uh, making a great contribution to this uh, horse racing in Sri Lanka. So I would like to make this is, as another symbol of Japan-Sri Lanka cooperation. Well, thank you so much for being with us and a very warm welcome once again, 
Ladies and gentlemen, that's all at the moment from the presentation area. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you very much. A big thank you to the presentation party, Honorable Minister. Thank you, uh, Ambassador, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the presentation party, thank you very much. All right, so we are done with the presentations. We are done with the presentations. And we have, how many more races do we have? We have three more races. Yes. <laughs> three fingers going up. <laughs> All right, so uh, thank you, Monique. Well, you have to now get sunburned now again, okay? <laughs> All right, so you have an umbrella, good. All right, so we are now going to once again invite the gypsies onto the bandstand. Okay, from the shade to the sun again. Right, so we saw that our spectators were really enjoying themselves. So get ready for race number four, which is going to happen at 12.30. It is the RTC Queen's Cup. You know, the first Queen's Cup was run. When was it run? The inaugural one. Any guesses? When was the first... Queen's Cup race run. Anyone? I can see someone quickly running through the uh, race book as well. Well, that also will give you. Any guesses? The Governor's Cup and the Queen's Cup. The inaugural race was in 19. Someone said 27. No, a little before than that. 97. Nah, nah, 97. Nah. Good luck, sir. Long, long time ago. When the queen came, what was the year? <laughs> no, look. <laughs> Red line. Zero point. It's a race win for Jorge Martin, and he is the world championship leader. real time be up to date with it all let us capture your milestones get it sizzling hot off the turf hear the experts break it down dig deep into the nitty-gritty be inspired by their greatness relive all the scintillating action
So ladies and gentlemen, we're in the parade ring for the RTC Queen's Cup and uh, the runners and riders are in the paddock. We've got the owners, the trainers and the jockeys with us. Let's start with Mrs. Edwards and uh, the owner here of uh, Secretive Force, Mrs. Edwards. Can we have a quick word? And wonderful day here at uh, Sri Lanka, especially in Norelia and Royal Turf Club really coming out on top in flying colours. Are we going to see your colours win the Queen's Cup? Of course, I have the best horse here, I think. So we are very confident that we are going to win this race. Well, very good luck with Secretive Force. And uh, being written here by Akash Agarwal. Akash, you've had some great races that you've won here. What do you think of Secretive Force? Kya chan? He's working well in the track work also. He has a good chance in this. All the best. And Mahesh, got two runners in uh, Cosmic Feeling and Secretive Force. Which do you prefer? I prepare from the Secret Force. He is a classic from a uh, classic horse from uh, India. Uh, he is a two-mile horse. Uh, I like to win that horse. Well, good luck, and uh, we've got glamour on the race course as well. Diptika, can we have you with us? So it was lovely to see you here. And uh, Cosmic Feeling, Secret Force, both owned by the family. What would you like to see win? I always say, may the best horse win. Right. Thank you. Thank you. And we move quickly now to the Jai Ratna stable and uh, walk up to Mr. Jairatne. He's got uh, Mehran and Big Treasure running in the race. Which do you prefer? Uh, we're hoping for Mehran because he's the stable sweetheart. Uh, he's the oldie of the stables. Everyone is a giant gentle, but out on the track he's a different animal. But uh, we're hoping for Mehran or either one, but uh, feelings are for Mehran. Well, he loves a trip. He loves that 2,000 meter circuit and looking very, very well. I just saw him in the paddock. And uh, good luck with Mehran. Good luck with him. And Sai Kumar, he's really been on fire today. He's already had a back-to-back -back double. And uh, is it going to be a treble with, uh, with, Mehra, uh, with uh, Mehran? No, sir. It would be fine. I, will, I, I think we'll make it out. Well, good luck with him. And uh, congratulations on the double. And Mr. Magilathan, he's really on fire today. He's had Queen's Hall and Fabulous Show. Both of them have come out and won. What do you, how do you look at this race? This uh, Queen's, Cup. Queen's Cup. Yeah, Queen's Cup. We really I prepared the uh, Mehran. They should, uh, I think, I give them my level the best in the Mehran. Well, just four runners. You're going to see a pace in the race? You think there will be a good pace? Yes, sir. Yes, we're going to a good pace in the okay. race. Well, good luck with both the runners. All the best to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from the parade ring where the four runners and riders for this RTC Queen's Cup are uh, waiting to move out of the paddock to the 2,000 meter marker. From the paddock, this is Cyrus saying, over back to you. Song we like to dedicate this song to the Honorable Minister 
Mr. Harwin Fernando. So I know this is your favorite song. So if you, if you can come and join us, it would be really nice. Would you like to come and join us, sir? Yeah, I know, you know this song. Yeah, your, your favorite song. Okay. Give a big hand to the Honorable Minister Harin Fernando. Put your hands together. Come on. Yeah. Okay, go on, put it on the table. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Harim Fernando. Thank you very much. Thank you to the gypsies and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're now moving on to the commentary box. We are ready for the race number four, which is the prestigious Queen's Cup. So, uh, Cyrus, if you're there, uh, over to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're 
runners and riders at the 2000 meter marker which means they go right round they pass the winning post once and then go around completing a 2000 meter mile and a quarter circuit and they've started uh, loading operations the first one into the gates will be big treasure cosmic Fe secretive force has also been stalled So there is a change of colors in this race, just to remember that. Big Treasure and uh, Mehran, both sporting the same colors. Secretive Force and Big Treasure are the two who have moved in at the moment. Cosmic Feeling, a little full of herself there behind the gates. So they put the blindfolds on uh, Cosmic Feeling and Mehran. And Cosmic Feeling backing out of the gates there with the blind. She's not very happy about going in. Meanwhile, Mehran has moved in. He's gone in quietly. The last one into the gates will be the blindfolded Cosmic Feeling. Cosmic Feeling comes to complete the line of four. They're all in for the RTC Queen's Cup. And they're off for the RTC Queen's Cup. Losing quite a bit at the start there was a uh, big treasure. But as they settle down and they're going at a fairly solid pace and uh, down the middle it's Mehran up on the outside, Cosmic Feeling going with him stride for stride. A length and a half away tucked in on the rails there, secretive force and keeping him company in the outside, Big Treasure. All four fairly tightly grouped but as they hit the rising ground and it's uh, Cosmic Feeling now who rockets to the front by about five to six lengths there from Mehran in second position. Tracking Mehran comes secretive force and about five lengths adrift we go back to Big Treasure who's racing very wide. They're at the top of the hill and as they now start negotiating and freewheeling downhill and it continues to be cosmic feeling making the pace by almost seven, eight lengths there from Mehran in second. About two and a half lengths behind Mehran is secretive force and uh, close fourth then is Big Treasure. They've got a little over 800 to run now in this RTC Queen's Cup. And Cosmic Feeling is doing the work in front. Still leads by almost about five lengths there from Mehran. Getting a little closer. Tracking Mehran all the time in second, third place then is uh, Secretive Force who suddenly dropped back. And making a bit of a forward move is Big Treasure. But as they begin to negotiate the turn now... And uh, Cosmic Feeling has run away into a lead of almost seven, eight, nine lengths there, separating her from uh, Mehran. Now it's getting into urgent mode. Then there's Big Treasure, and Secretive Force has been pulled up and is way out of it. They straighten up for the final run-in, and Cosmic Feeling still has a useful lead, but her strides are shortening, and she's just about five lengths now. The good of Big Treasure, then comes Mehran, but it's still... Cosmic Feeling from Big Treasure coming up with a big run on the stand side. It's Cosmic Feeling from Big Treasure. It's Cosmic Feeling from Big Treasure. But Cosmic Feeling wins the Queen's Cup from Big Treasure in second. Then came Mehran, followed there by Secretive Force. So the outcome of the RTC Queen's Cup won here by number four, Cosmic Feeling. She's an eight-year-old bay mare by Dean Skitten out of Shanley, trained Owned by Diptika Jayakodi, trained by S.D. Mahesh, ridden by Jockey Kaviraj, made all her own running from the time they jumped out, and she just took off in front, and that lead stood her in great stead. So the outcome of the RTC Queen's Cup won here by number four, Cosmic Feeling.
sporting the colors of Deeptika Jayakodi, trained by S.D. Mahesh and written by P.S. Kaviraj. She had a big challenge that was thrown down on her by Big Treasure, who came with a tremendous run on the stand side, but the long lead that uh, she had built up stayed in good stead for her, and she managed to hold on. So the outcome of the RTC Queen's Cup, they're the two runners who fought it out all the way down the straight. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for the winner and the runner-up. The winner, number four, Cosmic Feeling, owned by Diptika Jayakodi, trained by Mahesh and ridden by Kaviraj, making all her own running as they return in triumph. So a big win here for Diptika Jayakodi's Cosmic Feeling, an eight-year-old bay mare by Dean Skitten out of Shanley, who made all her own running, gradually extended the margin in front. They allowed her to go in front because they didn't think she was a serious threat, and that proved to be everybody's undoing. She's run a wonderful race, making all her own pace, and Jockey Kaviraj kept her going very nicely in the end. So over to you, Clifford, as you watch Cosmic Feeling. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Cyrus. And what a fantastic race. What a fantastic event. It's been uh, many congratulations. Can we have another round of applause? Come on, people. Make some noise for Cosmic Feeling, owned by Deeptika Jayakodi, trained by S.D. Mahesh and the winning jockey, P.S. Kaviraj. Many congratulations and, uh, well, that uh, is, in fact, uh, the longest uh, uh, event that we are going to uh, experience today at the RTC Governors Cup 2024, uh, a race that was run for uh, 2,000 uh, uh, meters. And many congratulations once again to Cosmic Feeling. And we are done with race number four, which is the RTC Queen's Cup for 2024. So we have, uh, once again, quite some time, or a little bit of time, because the main race, the main one, the signature race, the featured race for 2024, the RTC Governors Cup 2024, the main race is going to happen at 1.10 p.m. So that's the scheduled time for the commencement of uh, the RTC Governors Cup race. I hope you're ready for that. And uh, we know, you know that... Uh, it's going to be a very exciting race, like uh, what we enjoyed before. And you can see the replays of uh, the previous races as well for your entertainment. So all this comes to you from the Royal Turf Club, taking horse racing to uh, the highest level in Sri Lanka. And uh, uh, as many times been uh, reiterated, uh, sports tourism uh, given a huge boost with uh, horse racing and uh, also once again, a big thank you to HPSL, and they are the main sponsors, and all these races are powered by HPSL, the Horsepower the Sports League, uh, a different league, definitely. And a big thank you once again to the chairman and managing director of uh, HPSL, Mr. Suresh uh, Paladugu, who is here in person, and uh, we are really thankful, and uh, also a person of your caliber being present here. Uh, is definitely a great honor. So once again, a big thank you to uh, HPSL, our main sponsor. We also would like to uh, recognize the members of the executive committee of uh, Royal Turf Club, uh, Mr. Ryoto Hakaria, the secretary and the chief executive officer, uh, Mr. Nisita Rupasinghe, the treasurer, Mr. Refan Razin, the committee member, and also committee member Nadira Madugale. And they are also the officials, uh, Cyrus J. Maldan, the chairman of Stipend Restored, R. Manjudit, R. Manjunath, rather, the chief Stipend Restored, and uh, also a senior handicapper, and also uh, Harsha, G.S. Harsha, a clerk of scales, and also uh, the uh, race caller, and also uh, Dr. Ineke Ann Pitts, and also Noah Fernando, the judges, and also the veterinary consultant, Dr. K. Nizanantha. So that comprises of the executive committee and the officials of uh, Royal Turf Club. So ladies and gentlemen, we have the starting gates that have been uh, brought forward. 
Now earlier it was took, taken to the uh, 2000 meter mark and now uh, the starting gates are brought forward and that is to the 1600 meter mark because that will be the commencing point of uh, the uh, RTC Governor's Cup which will be run for a distance of 1600 meters so get ready for that as well it will be run at approximately 110 p.m. Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL, Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. Uh, HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life, culture, and heritage. Red line. Zero point. It's a race win for Jorge Martin, and he is the world championship leader. In a world, animals hold a timeless connection with humanity, a bond woven in the fabric of nature. Through the ages, They've graced our lives with love and understanding. Among them, horses stand as our enduring companions, sharing our journey through war and peace, work and play, revealing a profound connection that transcends words. It is in the depths of a horse's soulful eyes that we find a reflection of our own aspirations and dreams. Delve into history's enduring tales, where legends embraced horses not just as symbols of strength, but as part of their victory. Witness their emotional connection with these majestic animals, embodying grace, grandeur, and unwavering mastery. In today's world, humans and horses have evolved their bond. Beyond transport and labor, horses now shine in sports, therapy, and recreation. Stay tuned for an exhilarating revelation. Get ready for an emotional journey we're unveiling the celebration of the timeless bond between humans and horses. Brace yourself for an unforgettable exploration of their incredible partnership. Horsepower Sports League.
Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. Uh, HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life culture, and heritage. Red line. Zero point. It's a race win for Jorge Martin, and he is the world championship leader. In a world, animals hold a timeless connection with humanity, a bond woven in the fabric of nature. Through the ages, They've graced our lives with love and understanding. Among them, horses stand as our enduring companions, sharing our journey through war and peace, work and play, revealing a profound connection that transcends words. It is in the depths of a horse's soulful eyes that we find a reflection of our own aspirations and dreams. Delve into history's enduring tales, where legends embraced horses not just as symbols of strength, but as part of their victory. Witness their emotional connection with these majestic animals, embodying grace, grandeur, and unwavering mastery. In today's world, humans and horses have evolved their bond. Beyond transport and labor, horses now shine in sports, therapy, and recreation. Stay tuned for an exhilarating revelation. Get ready for an emotional journey we're unveiling the celebration of the timeless bond between humans and horses. Brace yourself for an unforgettable exploration of their incredible partnership. Horsepower Sports League.
Force Racing is. So we're in the parade ring now for the feature event of the afternoon, the RTC Governor's Cup. Now this is a race, ladies and gentlemen, that's got history and tradition <coughs> written all over it. Just four runners who will be lining up to face the starter at the 1600 meter marker for a little piece of history at the Royal Turf Club here in Norelia. So we're going to start by going across here and uh, getting to the Jayaratna stable and uh, we'll have a quick word with Vikram. So jockey Vikram riding uh, Western Wind looking very very well and uh, what sort of a horse is he, Vikram? Nice, good horse? He's a good horse, sir. I rolled last time. Uh, I wish I will win this derby. Good luck with, uh, good luck with Western Wind. And uh, to Mr. Jairatne, all the best. Came very close in the last one, didn't you? It came right up to him. And uh, Madhya Lagan, uh, you had another ace in the race, which unfortunately had to be withdrawn. But Western Wind should do you well? Yes, sir. This race only one run, one runner. I do them, I live the best this race. Well, good luck with uh, Western Wind. And uh, we now move across, ladies and gentlemen, to the Edwards stable. So we've got Mrs. Edwards here, and uh, she's got here and now, and Edwards stables have Royal Crystal, and then we've got Legendary Princess as well. So three of them in the race, what do you think? Okay, this race, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Ravi's, Ravi Jockey, Stable Jockey's wish because uh, I seen him on the social media that he, his dream to win the Governor's Cup. So, <laughs> since he's the only local jockey here, so I'm going to go with my uh, here and now. Yeah, but the Royal Crystal also in very good form and uh, with the one of the top jockey. Uh, so, let's see. Well, we get across first to... Uh, Ravi Kumar. Ravi, did you have the choice? You had the choice between the horses? Yeah, I choose. So you picked this. This is your first pick. Well, good luck. Always gets difficult when you have three horses to pick. Good luck with uh, here and now. And uh, we've got Kaviraj, who will be riding uh, Royal Crystal. What do you think of him? He's looking good. Maybe he's winning this race. Good luck with him. And how are you looking? Good and fantastic. <laughs> So that's uh, a very confident Kaviraj there. And we finally get across also to Mahesh, who's got uh, three runners in the race. And uh, out of the three, what's your favorite one? Uh, I can't say like a favorite one. So I had about two horses in the Royal Christian and Here and Now. Here and Now so last year won in the Magic Million. He had a more chance for that race. I think he's a good rider riding on the Royal, uh, Royal Christian and Kaviraj. Had a good fight and both horses. Well, good luck with all three. And Diptika's on a roll over here. She just won the Queen's Cup with Cosmic Feeling. What are the feelings just now? Uh, that was, what a lead it was. Um, yeah, so the... Well, lovely to see you leading in a winner. And here's hoping you lead in another. Good luck. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it from the parade ring area where the forerunners for this RTC Governor's Cup in the paddock And uh, we've got the Honorable Minister of Tourism, Land, Sport and Youth Affairs, Mr. Harin Fernando. A lot of hidden talent there with him, ladies and gentlemen. As we move across, he really took the stage and uh, rocked us with that lovely version that he did. So horses have been a beautiful part of racing and uh, in Sri Lanka and uh, what do you think of uh, do you like horses of course I like I like uh, speed I like I like the I like uh, horses as well as how they how they come back from behind and then they lead so I like that well you know the, the amazing part of horses is when the greatest feeling you can ever have is when those gates clang open at the start and you go from zero to 50 kilometers per hour in less than 200 meters. Now, the only problem there is you don't have any brakes. That, that's the only issue, but it's a great sport. It's wonderful to see you here, and I hope you're having a great afternoon. Um, 
Absolutely, and I really want to congratulate all the Royal Turf Club. Uh, they've had some challenges, but they've uh, not given up. And uh, they always are up for a challenge. And, uh, and I hope that uh, Sri Lanka sports, as well as uh, tourism, would promote, be promoted with initiatives like that. And I see a lot of interest from foreigners. And uh, the world should know that we, we also used to be a horse racing country and we need to put ourselves in the map so hopefully i should be able to help them do that as well thank you very much you're certainly moving in the right direction and we've got from india mr suresh paladugu who had also come in to sponsor today your impressions of racing today at uh, royal turf club wonderful atmosphere and uh, with the kind of support that i'm hearing from uh, sports minister mr harain uh, i see a lot of potential and we definitely will be continuing to support Sri Lankan tourism and sports. And I know why this youth affairs was given to the minister with the great singing cap capabilities and I'm sure a lot more. So uh, glad to be here. Thank you very much. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, from the parade ring area, we're all set for the RTC Governor's Cup. Four runners lining up to face the starter and may the best horse come out and win. So, uh, top wave of uh, the parade ring, thanks to the drone shots that you see. And very soon, the uh, runners and riders will be coming on to the track, which will be run to a distance of 1,600 meters. And uh, all the best to the runners as we're getting ready for the featured race for 2024 or for the RTC Governor's Cup 2024 Racing Day, which is the RTC Governor's Cup race. So very soon, we'll be having the runners and riders coming onto the track. So this is race number five in our racing uh, Agenda for today, race number five. So already we've completed four races. This is race number five. And after this one, we have one more race to go. And that is the HPSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy. And all these races are powered and sponsored by our main sponsor, HPSL. A huge thank you to HPSL. And in fact, uh, thank you for the trust and confidence that you have placed. Uh, in the Royal Turf Club, and uh, we can see a beautiful capture of uh, the Honorable Harin Fernando and also the other dignitaries as they uh, will be making their way off the parade ring shortly and uh, leaving room for the runners and riders to come out of the track. And very soon, we will be seeing the runners and riders coming out of the track for the signature or the featured race for today, the RTC Governor's Cup Race 2000 and. 24. So up to now, it's been uh, super entertaining and super exciting. Thank you very much for being present here at the race course in Norelia on behalf of the Royal Turf Club. Just to let you know that uh, there is another event happening, and that is on the 28th of April for this month. The final event will be on the 28th of April, which is called the RTC Magic Million uh, Race Day. So uh, if you plan to uh, come over to Little England, just to let you know that that's another attraction. And uh, so the Honorable Minister having uh, uh, a few words with uh, the officials and also a couple of uh, uh, riders as well, as we're looking forward to another exciting one. So keep your fingers crossed. This is the big one. The moment all of you have been waiting for the RTC Governor's Cup 2024. Our main sponsor, HPSL, the Horsepower Sports League, and also the other sponsors, Edwards Collection, and also IDL Ascot. Our hospitality partner is Blackpool. The official print media partner is the Vijay Group of Newspapers with a plethora of uh, magazines and newspapers. The official news partner is News First, and also the official radio partner, Yes 101. The official online digital media partner, Newswire and uh, Yamu. A big thank you to all our sponsors as well. And uh, not forgetting our main sponsor, 
HPSL. So we are really delighted and honored and also thankful to the chairman and managing director of HPSL, Mr. Suresh Paladugu, who is here in person. And once again, on behalf of the Royal Turf Club, we would like to say a big thank you to Mr. Suresh Paladugu, the chairman and managing director of HPSL. So we're giving you from time to time uh, nice uh, views from our cameras, our crew, the photography and the video crew, uh, taking a lot of effort and putting in a lot of uh, energy to make sure that uh, they give you super stuff onto the screens in front of you and not to this screen in front of you, but also streaming live, going live on uh, the RTC or the Royal Turf Club the Facebook page and also going on uh, the HPSL platform uh, to India as well. And uh, not forgetting the Papare TV uh, platform as well on uh, Dialogue TV. So all these three uh, platforms have the RTC Governors Cup races being uh, uh, streamed live. So, at the commentary box, we have uh, Cyrus. He's done a lot of walking and uh, burnt a couple of calories as well. <laughs> Going up and down. In a moment, Cyrus will be taking over. So we've just seen them in the parade ring. Four runners for this RTC Governor's Cup. All of them vying for a little piece of history. The field, number one here and now, an eight-year-old bay gelding owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, trained by Mahesh and ridden by Ravi Kumar. Number two, Royal Crystal, coming in from the Edwards stables, trained by Mahesh, ridden by Kaviraj. Number three is Western Wind. He's a 12-year-old by West Virginian out of uh, Miraflores, owned by Husana Jayaratne and Mrs. Baba Jayaratne and trained by Mathia Lagan, ridden by Vikram. Number four, another race has unfortunately been withdrawn on veterinary grounds. And number five, legendary princess, sporting the same colors as uh, Cosmic Feeling, who came out to win the Queen's Cup. And she's owned by Diptika Jayakodi, will be trained by Mahesh and ridden by Akash Agarwal. So the four runners will be coming out shortly onto the racetrack. Hello. So the latest news from the parade ring is that number five, legendary princess, has also been withdrawn before coming under starter's orders on veterinary grounds. So the field for the RTC Governor's Cup cut down to just three. Here and now, Royal Crystal, Western Wind. Those are the three who will be lining up to face the starter at the 1600 meter marker to find out whose name is inscribed in the archives of history at the Royal Turf Club and in the archives of Sri Lankan racing. <laughs> On your screen there, you can see Western Wind, a lovely showy dark bay, little full of himself there behind the gates. All three runners will be making their way towards the 1600 meter marker. They jump out from there and as soon as they leave the gates, they hit a rising ground over there for almost about 400 meters until they come to the 1000 meter marker and then it's freewheeling downhill. But 
You can see them parading in front of the grandstand. Number one, here and now, got a lovely coat on him. Number two, Royal Crystal. And number three, Western Wind. Well, we thought a small field wouldn't give it a competitive touch, but believe me, you're going to see a real competitive race on the cards here. And invariably, with three runners, tactics are going to play a very, very important role. <laughs> so the three runners now making their way towards the starting gates for the start of this RTC Governor's Cup. So jockey Vikram cantering western wind down to the 1600 meter marker and uh, Royal Crystal with uh, Kaviraja stride also breaking into a canter now to get into the groove here and now being led to the gates with the jockey on board working his way there So just one race after this, and that's the HBSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy. And that is for half-breds from Sri Lanka. So RTC doing their bit to promote horses in Sri Lanka and not just horses that are imported in for racing. Meanwhile, the runners and riders are making their way to the starting gates two of them have reached already royal crystal is already there so is western wind they just wait now for here and now to get there and uh, they'll probably be starting loading operations as soon as uh, here and now gets to the gates Here and now, taking his time about getting to the starting stalls, but he's finally got there. <coughs> so the three runners for the RTC Governor's Cup now at the 1600 meter marker. R being run today over the metric mile. Sri Lankan racing really came of age in the 1950s and 60s where you had the top riders from all over the world coming in to ride in Colombo, in Gaul and even in Aurelia. But back to the present and Royal Turf Club trying to restore those days of lost glory as we get ready for loading operations for this RTC Governor's Cup. And the first one to walk into the gates will be here and now with the blindfolds on. Here and now has been stalled. Western wind has been blindfolded. <coughs> the blindfolded western wind now getting in. And that just leaves Royal Crystal to complete the line of three. <coughs> Royal Crystal a little full of himself behind the gates, playing up a bit. They're trying Royal Crystal now with the blinds on. And with the blindfolds on, Royal Crystal goes in without any trouble. All three runners in the gates. And they're away in racing for the RTC Governor's Cup being run over the metric mile. And as they hit the rising ground, Royal Crystal takes to the front from Western Wind now ranging alongside and trying passing him on the outside. 
and about six, seven lengths adrift. Last of three there is here and now. They're reaching the top of the crest, working their way towards the 1200 meter marker, and it continues to be Western Wind, the leader, by almost about uh, two lengths, the good of Royal Crystal in second, and about four and a half, five lengths adrift, still lying last of three, is here and now. They're freewheeling downhill now towards the beginning of the bend, and Western Wind still calls it by about a length and a half, two lengths there from Royal Crystal. Here and now is getting closer from third position as they begin to negotiate that tight turn towards the 600 meter marker. They've got a little under 600 to run in the RTC Governor's Cup, and they're lining up now as they hit the turn. You've got, uh, Royal, you've got Western Wind on the rail. In the middle there is Royal Crystal. Here and now has gone very, very wide and is almost six horses wide as they take the turn. But as they straighten up now for the final run in, and it's Western Wind on the inside, Royal Crystal down the middle, and here and now galloping very strongly on the stand side. And it's here and now on the stand side, who's about a length and a half from Royal Crystal fighting back on the inside. But here and now is here and now for the Royal, for the Governor's Cup. Here and now wins it from Royal Crystal. <coughs> then came Western Wind. <coughs> so the outcome of the RTC Governor's Cup, we told you it was going to be a competitive race, and my goodness, it certainly was. Royal Crystal, despite coming very, very wide round the turn, making his move just as the horses hit the turn, he had to travel that much more, but obviously, jockey Ravi Kumar knew what he was on. He didn't want any problems, any interference. He wanted to give that horse a clear run on the stand side, and he got that. They straightened up, and although Western Wind and Royal Crystal fought back tooth and nail, here and now, with Ravi Kumar, trained by Mahesh, the property of Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, romped home on the stand side. So the outcome of the RTC, RTC Governor's Cup, won by number one, here and now, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, trained by S.D. Mahesh, the prop, and written by L. Ravi Kumar. The horses returning from the metric mile, and here and now was in the right place at the right time, here and now, to win the RTC Governor's Cup. They're coming back now. It was still a close race, because when they turned for home, you had Western Wind on the inside rails. Royal Crystal was pushing him for an effort on the outside. <coughs> and then came here and now on the stand side. And he was very wide, but managed to get a clear run. And in the end, he just wore them down to win it very, very convincingly in the end. So the outcome of the Governor's Cup won by here and now, an eight-year-old by Summit out of uh, Lemonsi, and trained by Mahesh, ridden by Ravi Kumar, sporting the colors of Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. There you have it on the screen, returning in triumph, and it's over to Clifford to tell you here and now, all about here and now. Here and now, all about here and now, yes. What an excitement that was created by the runners. And uh, people, let's make some noise for the, all the entertainment that was created by five exciting runners and riders for the RTC Governor's Cup. And uh, until the last couple of uh, seconds, uh, no one knew what exactly was going to happen. We had uh, three runners uh, giving a very, very uh, close fight towards the, uh, uh, the, uh, the finish line. And finally, we had a super, super lead by here and now, a reigning supreme owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards and trained by S.D. Mahesh and the winning jockey L. Ravi Kumar. Once again, the winners of the RTC Governors Cup 2024. And we have the official results on display. Many congratulations. So the winning moments are being captured. The winning forces behind the win of here and now. Uh, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards and trained by his Dimash 
and the winning jockey L. Ravi Kumar. Many congratulations. What a performance and what a great event. And that is the conclusion of RTC Governors Cup 2024 race. But uh, the excitement is not uh, done and finished because we have uh, the trophy presentation. All these trophies are going to be presented. We have one more race that's going to happen. And also soon after that, remember, gypsies will be taking over soon after that. So get ready for that as well. And uh, we want to create this environment uh, or continue to create this environment, to recreate this environment, to a uh, party atmosphere. So get ready for some live uh, action uh, with uh, the gypsies as well coming up very soon. But right now what's going to happen is after these uh, captures of the winning moments of here and now, we'll be moving on to the trophy presentation, I believe, shortly. And we have one more race and that's the HBSL Sri Lanka Turf Trophy. The HBSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy a race is the final race at the RTC Governors Cup Racing Day 2024. And remember, 28th of April, don't forget, the next race is on the 28th of April, and at these, that is the RTC Magic Million Cup Race Day. And uh, while we get ready, while we get ready for the final race, I believe we'll be moving on uh, very soon to the trophy presentation as well. So keep your focus, keep your focus here uh, in the presentation area as well. Royal Turf Club Sangdhane Karna Turka Taruk Taranga Avaliya RTC Governors Cup Didhas Visi Hathara Api Yathra Ma Taranga Pahak Kawasan Kala Tino Atawa Ek Taranga Tino Eitheng Ewa Gema E Taranga In Anaturu Gypsy Sangeet Kanda Ma Sudana Ming Inno Oba Venu In Tawat Raswat Kala Kala Bada Inna Eitheng Race Coast Pavishtra Eta Pemini Oba Sil Denata Ma Nawata Rakka Api Aradhan Kala Sitno Me Parishtra Eta Randa Inna Ewa Gema Oba Ta Api Oa Henu Anan Ma Oba Ta Kata Karan Ne No Race course Parish race sitter. I think Avasan Targi Avasan Munad Pasu Gypsy Sangi the Kanda Sudana Mingino Ovenu in Tavat Rasavat Kalak Labadin. Gypsies are ready for the next session of music coming on very shortly. That's after the trophy presentation. So all this is going live as well. Thank you to all the live audience that is being connected to us from the race course in Norelia and going live to Sri Lanka and going live, streaming live to the world as well. So this is how Sri Lanka is proud. The Royal Turf Club is really proud of taking horse racing to the highest level. And uh, also, this is a gigantic effort to make sure that uh, horse racing contributes to sports tourism in uh, Sri Lanka. So we're living in an era where Sri Lanka has become one of the finest destinations in the world. And that's exactly why we see so many tourists and uh, that's due to the uh, political stability and also the economic stability that we enjoy in Sri Lanka. And we hope that this will uh, double and treble. And uh, we hope that uh, Sri Lanka will definitely be one of the finest, will continue to be one of the finest destinations in the world. And we see many tourists who have come to Little England. And also, wherever we roam in Sri Lanka, we see many tourists who are here and uh, they're enjoying the... Uh, beauty of Sri Lanka. From the tops of the mountains to the depths of the oceans, we see adventure, the sunny sandy beaches and also the lush green tea estates and also all that Sri Lanka has to offer. So all this is for us in Sri Lanka and for the people visiting Sri Lanka. So the Royal Turf Club or the RTC Governors Cup 2024 Racing Day is powered by HPSL. And also we'd like to say a huge thank you once again to HPSL and also to the Chairman and Managing Director of HPSL, Mr. Suresh uh, Paladugu, who is personally here. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we are now getting ready for the trophy presentation. Trophy presentation time, people. We want you to focus your attention to the presentation area as we are now going to invite a couple of very special people on stage for the presentation. So once again, we'd like to invite the Honorable Harin Fernando, the Minister of Tourism, Land, Sports and Youth Affairs. We also would like to invite the Japanese Ambassador to uh, Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mizukoshi Hideki. Your Excellency, we'd like to once again welcome you. And also we invite the Chairman and Managing Director of HPSL, Mr. Suresh Paladugu, our main sponsor. 
and uh, it'll be accompanied on to the presentation area by Mr. Nisit Rupasinga, the uh, treasurer, and also Mr. Reuto Hakaria, the secretary and the chief executive officer, and also the attorney at law, Panduka Kirtinanda, as well. So, presentation party is making their way onto the stage. Two trophies. What are they? The Queen's Cup and also the most important one, which is the RTC Governor's Cup. I told you, this is the 151st year of uh, the Governor's Cup. So this is the legacy that uh, horse racing has enjoy enjoyed in Sri Lanka. 151st uh, Governor's Cup and the inaugural Governor's Cup of the Queen's Cup was held way back in 1910. And uh, that was uh, when uh, the then governor of Ceylon, Sir Henry Edward McCallum, was the governor. The presentation party is ready. Can we please put our hands together? Put your, put your demo for our presentation party. And uh, Cyrus, over to you uh, to announce and uh, take over proceedings. Thank you, Clifford. So we start, ladies and gentlemen, with the RTC Queen's Cup. And we're going to request the Honorable Minister of Sport and Tourism, Harin Fernando. He's really having to work overtime this morning and afternoon, and he's really been so good about it. Thank you very much. So, the RTC Queen's Cup, won by Cosmic Feeling, <coughs> owned by Miss Diptika Jayakodi. Can she come up, please? So a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. We wanted glamour at the race course. We certainly got it with Diptika Jayakodi coming up to receive the RTC Queen's Cup from the Honorable Minister Arin Fernando. Cosmic Feeling was trained by S.D. Mahesh. And uh, we don't seem to have him here with us. And uh, he, she was written by P.S. Kaviraj. So that was the RTC Queen's Cup. And can we have Mahesh, Kaviraj, and uh, Ravi Kumar at the presentation area, please? Come on, people, you're so silent. Come on, put your hands together. RTC Governors Cup 2024. So, ladies and gentlemen, get it louder for the winner of uh, the Queen's Cup. The winner of the Queen's Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, let it get it louder for Cosmic Feeling, owned by Diptika Jakoti and uh, trained by S.D. Mahesh and the winning jockey P.S. Kaviraj. Keep the applause going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. And keep the applause going. We need a continuous round of applause. Presentation is on. Presentation is on. Come on, people. Smile and clap your hands. Cheer. Cheer as loud as possible for the winner of the Queen's Cup 2024. Many congratulations, Cosmic Feeling. So we certainly had Clifford in cosmic mode over there as he got you all excited about it. And we move now to the RTC Governor's Cup, which has been won by the Bay Gelding here and now, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. But we're still waiting for Mahesh, Kaviraj, and Ravi Kumar. But in the meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for the owner of the winner of the RTC Governor's Cup here and now. They wanted victory here and now, and they certainly got it. So the RTC Governor's Cup won here by here and now, owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards. And uh, we still wait for the two people who got this victory through, and that's uh, trainer Mahesh 
and jockey Ravi Kumar, who seem to be missing in action at the moment, but we're still waiting for them. Here, 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 why are you silent? This is here and now, winning the Governor's Cup. 2024 powered by HBSL. Keep the applause going. Get it louder. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Owned by Mr. and Mrs. Edwards, trained by SD Mahesh. And the winning jockey, L. Ravi Kumar. Mahesh, please come on stage. And Ravi Kumar, where are you? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the trainer, SD Mahesh, for whom this has been an amazing afternoon. He's won the Queen's Cup. He's won the Governor's Cup, back-to-back -back doubles for Mahesh, and that's not something that happens very often in racing. So, a wonderful day here for trainer SD Mahesh as he picks up the two plums of the season, the RTC Queen's Cup and the RTC Governor's Cup, and we finally got Ravi Kumar coming down. He was a little late, not, he was a little late, to get in here and now, but he certainly made no mistake on the horse. And ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Ravi Kumar. He's from Sri Lanka. He's a Sri Lankan jockey. He's been persevering at his art. And this is what the sport needs. It needs the local people to come in and do it. And also coming in now will be the jockey who's just written Cosmic Feeling. And that is P.S. Kaviraj. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for P.S. Kaviraj, who came out to win the Queen's Cup on Cosmic Feeling. But for Ravi Kumar, this must be one of his greatest triumphs. So Ravi Kumar hoisting that Governor's Cup as we said, ladies and gentlemen, he's from Sri Lanka, he's grown up in Sri Lanka, groomed in Sri Lanka, and he's turned in an inspired performance today to be here and now at the winning enclosure. Congratulations, Ravi. And ladies and gentlemen, a big hand also for jockey Kaviraj, who rode Cosmic Feeling. Can we get him into the center so we can see, see him? He's hidden at the moment. So ladies and gentlemen, that's Kaviraj, who rode Cosmic Feeling to victory in the Queen's Cup. So we'll get both the jockeys to hold on to the trophies. Ravi, can you pick up the Governor's Cup trophy? Pick up the Governor's Cup trophy. You're going to savor this moment for a long time. And from the presentation area, ladies and gentlemen. What an afternoon it has been. It's been a wonderful day of racing. And uh, Cosmic Feeling winning the Queens. And uh, here and now winning the Governor's Cup. So from the presentation area, it's been a great afternoon. Once again, a big thank you to the Honorable Minister Harin Fernando for being with us and uh, doing the honors. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you very much. And once again, many congratulations to the winners. And a big thank you to the presentation party, including the Honorable Harin Fernando. Thank you. And uh, RTC Governor's Cup 2024 Racing Day. And the action is not yet over. Because uh, we'll have more action. We'll have more action. We have one more race. We have one more race. What's that race? That race is called the HPSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy. And that's coming up at uh, 1.50. So that's uh, the time of the final race. And after the final race, we'll have the presentation. And after the presentation, Gypsies will be in action to rock Norelia. So get ready for the final race, which is coming up. So all this is organized by the Royal Turf Club, taking horse racing to the highest level in Sri Lanka. And uh, we had an amazing crowd from morning, and we still do have an amazing crowd. The weather has been fantastic. It's been uh, not uh, too warm and not too cold, but just right. Just
Point. Red line. Zero point. It's a race win for Jorge Martin, and he is the world championship leader. Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life, culture, and heritage.
In a world, animals hold a timeless connection with humanity, a bond woven in the fabric of nature. Through the ages, they've graced our lives with love and understanding. Among them, horses stand as our enduring companions, sharing our journey through war and peace, work and play, revealing a profound connection that transcends words. It is in the depths of a horse's soulful eyes that we find a reflection of our own aspirations and dreams. Delve into history's enduring tales, where legends embraced horses not just as symbols of strength, but as part of their victory. Witness their emotional connection with these majestic animals, embodying grace, grandeur, and unwavering mastery. In today's world, humans and horses have evolved their bond. Beyond transport and labor, horses now shine in sports, therapy, and recreation. Stay tuned for an exhilarating revelation. Get ready for an emotional journey. We're unveiling the celebration of the timeless bond between humans and horses. Brace yourself for an unforgettable exploration of their incredible partnership. Horsepower Sports League. Red line. Zero point. It's a race win for Jorge Martin and he is the world championship leader. Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory 
and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life, culture, and heritage. meter marker and this is invariably a flag start and you see them lining up there they're on their way to the start you've got Helen on the extreme right will see win in between them is wild boy and then you've got city shot next to them Sri Lankan Queen and a special fighter so they're going to line up at the 800 meter marker and uh, then the starter is going to give a flag start to make them go but this is what racing in Sri Lanka is about. They're promoting the half reds bred in Sri Lanka itself, and this race reserved only for them. We've had a lovely day, but it seems like there's a bit of cloud and uh, a little bit of a drizzle beginning to start up and threaten proceedings here. But meanwhile, take a look at them there on the screen. You can see them all. On the extreme right, you've got uh, Helen, Next to her is uh, Wilsey Wynn, Wild Boy. Next to them, Sri Lankan Queen, City Shot, and uh, Special Fighter. And that's the flag stop that they've been given. So they're off and racing for the last race of the day. And uh, from the outside, City Shot is the first to hit the front. So City Shot is in the lead as they hit the turn by about uh, two and a half, three lengths separating him from uh, Sri Lankan Queen in second. Then we go back a couple of lengths there to a uh, uh, special fighter, a further length and a half away then to Wilsey Win. But they're beginning to negotiate the turn now, and uh, as they come into view, it's a city shot, well clear at the moment, but about four and a half, five lengths separating him from uh, Sri Lankan Queen in second position. And then their special fighter, the Grey, making a bid on the outside but at about 150 left to run, and City Shot coming under pressure, and flying on the outside is Sri Lankan Queen. And it's going to be all Sri Lankan Queen who's going to come out to win this. Sri Lankan Queen comes out to win this very convincingly from City Shot in second, and uh, then came Special Fighter in third. So the outcome of the sixth race, won here by Sri Lankan Queen, ridden by Nanda Kumar, Trained by Prasanna. Hmm? So, ladies and gentlemen, this was for Sri Lankan half-breds. It's the Royal Turf Club's way of promoting racing in Sri Lanka. And uh, Sri Lankan Queen came with a lovely, beautifully timed run when City Shot looked like he had it all sewn up. Sri Lankan Queen came with a scintillating run on the outside to win very convincingly in the end.
So that's the outcome of the sixth and last race here at the Royal Turf Club in Norelia. I hope you all have all had a great day and enjoyed this as much as I have as we watch the six Sri Lankan half-breds coming back. They need a little bit of your approval and applause. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. These are horses bred and raced in Sri Lanka and Royal Turf Club trying to promote the cause. The race won by Sri Lankan Queen, who's come out to win it in great style. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had a little bit of uh, rain that hampered uh, the gypsies in action, but uh, don't worry, gypsies will back in, we'll be back in action. And I'm, in fact, talking to you from the commentary box, right on top in the uh, grandstand. And just to let you know that the presentation will happen shortly. And thereafter, when the sound is sorted out and uh, when the bandstand is under proper cover from rain, Gypsies will begin action. So stick around for that as well. I think I will ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask me 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 to Tawat Raswat Kale Klabadin and Amuti Kaling, our son Ange, our son Tarange Sandaha, Kusalan of the Hanekaran Nai, May Sudan of Mane. The final race that was completed is the uh, HPSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy, race number six. And we had a super win by Sri Lankan Queen, owned by Mr. Navaneetan and uh, trained by LM Prasanna and the jockey J. Nandakumar. So we had a very exciting final race as well. Right from the start, it's been super excitement uh, given by the runners and riders. So I hope you enjoyed every minute of your stay here at the race course in Norelia, the RTC Governors Cup 2024. And that is the RTC Magic Million Cup race day. So get ready for that as well. And that is coming up on the 28th of April. Right, so very soon, the trophy, the HPSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy will be presented and the entire racing day today is powered and sponsored by our main sponsor, HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League. A different league, indeed. Once again, on behalf of the Royal Turf Club, thank you for coming and we invite you to remain in uh, the grandstand area as we're getting ready for presentation time. And thereafter, uh, after we get things sorted out with uh, rain cover shielding the equipment from uh, the slight drizzle that we are experiencing here gypsies will be taking over so 
That's a promise indeed. Just to let you know that the best dressed lady, the best dressed gent, the best couple, and the best hat will be chosen and announced. Best dressed gent, best dressed lady, best dressed couple, and the best hat. We see the titles for it. But you know, what in a thaggy laba then? Is on that over anivarem randi inno na because it could be you. It could be you, and uh, if it's you, if you're not around, then you don't stand stand a chance of winning the prize. So stick around and wait for those results as well. So all in all, it's been a spectacular day. A nice uh, sunny morning and a late uh, early afternoon it was, but now it's got a little uh, gloomy and uh, there's a little bit of drizzle and uh, uh, looks like we have uh, signs of rain, but we hope that uh, we don't have uh, too much of trouble from uh, rain as we're getting ready for some entertainment as well. So all in all, it's been a great day. It's been a great day and thank you very much for being present here because it is your presence that has definitely made today the RTC Governors Cup 2024 race day a grand success. Once again, we say thank you to our sponsors. Our main sponsor, HPSL, the other sponsors, Edwards Collection, and they are definitely renowned for their luxury villas in Sri Lanka and also Ideal Ascot, Hospitality Partner, the Blackpool, Official media, print media partner is the Vijay Group of Newspapers. The official news partner is News First. The official radio partner is Yes 101. And also the official online digital media partner, Newswire and the Yamu. And also our broadcasting partner, Papare TV. And uh, that's going on the Dialogue TV uh, platform. So, all this excitement has been covered by our uh, camera crew and streamed live right up to this moment on the Facebook page of the Royal Turf Club and also the Papare uh, TV channel and also the HPSL channel as well, uh, broadcasting or streaming to India as well. So wherever you are in Sri Lanka, wherever you are in the world, you have the opportunity or you have had the opportunity of uh, um, being a part of the RTC Governors Cup 2024. Now for the people who are here and also for the benefit of the people who are watching us on the live streams, just to let you know that the trophy presentation will come alive shortly and that will be followed by Gypsies once again live in action and not forgetting the awarding of the best hat, the bestest lady, the bestest gent, and also the best couple. Get ready for all these coming up in a moment.
Welcome to the captivating world of Sri Lanka, where vibrant culture, stunning landscapes, and thrilling sporting events converge. Get ready for an unforgettable experience as we present the perfect blend of tourism and sportsmanship at the prestigious RTC Governor's Cup, proudly sponsored by the HPSL Horsepower Sports League. Join us for a journey filled with excitement, adrenaline, and the spirit of competition, and the thrill of horse racing, powered by the support of HPSL. Experience the thrill of victory and the passion of the crowd as horses and riders compete for glory, all under the banner of HPSL's dedication to promoting high-performance sports and entertainment. Uh, HPSL, that is Horsepower Sports League, simply put, uh, it is a premier league for the equestrian sports. So we'd like to introduce horse and the human connect in a different light. Immerse yourself in the warmth of Sri Lankan hospitality, where every moment is a celebration of life culture, and heritage. Red line. Zero point. It's a race for Jorge Martin and he is the world championship leader. All right, so all this coming to you live on our official broadcast, Papare TV. And we are now just going to give you a, a glimpse of uh, the crowd energy from the grandstand. Uh, all right, we're going to, we're going live on Papare TV. Papare TV, it's live. Podi, inna havela, podi chere ka dendo. Come on, people, make some noise. Podi chere ka dendo. TV ka dendo. Periya chere va, vana. Vanaum. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great day. The RTC Governors Cup 2024, and uh, we had six races. We started off with the HPSL uh, Super uh, Challenge Trophy, and also the Ministry of uh, Sports and Tourism Trophy, and followed by the Japanese Ambassador Trophy, the RTC Queen's Cup, and the RTC Governors Cup, and followed by the HPSL Sri Lankan Turf Trophy. So we had six races, and all this was organized by the Royal Turf Club, taking horse racing to the highest level in Sri Lanka and contributing hugely to boost uh, the sports tourism in Sri Lanka and also today we had the privilege of uh, uh, having in our midst the Honorable Harin Fernando the Minister of Tourism, Land, Sports and Youth Affairs and also we had the uh, presence of the Japanese Ambassador in Sri Lanka, His Excellency uh, Mizukoshi Hideki and uh, a host of uh, distinguished invitees and today's racing day was sponsored by HPSL and that's uh, Horsepower Sports League, a different league of course and we had the presence of uh, the Chairman and Managing Director of HPSL, Mr. Suresh uh, Paladugu as well. So we had a great crowd and we had uh, lots of entertainment from the Gypsies as well and we're looking forward to many more entertainment coming up from the Gypsies and uh, also many congratulations to all uh, the winners, the winning owners and trainers as well and uh, this is in fact uh, 
the closing time for the uh, RTC Governors Cup uh, Racing Day for 2024. And this is, in fact, the 151st Ekasia Panas Ekwana Patawatai RTC Governors Cup. 151st uh, time. And also, just to keep on record that uh, the first uh, the Governor's Cup race was held and the Queen's Cup race was held way back in 1910. So this is the kind of legacy the Governor's Cup of the Queen's Cup has been enjoying. So it's been a super day and it's not the end of the story for horse racing in Sri Lanka. It's not the end of the story for the Royal Turf Club because there's another race coming up and that is on the 28th of April and that is the RTC Magic Million Race Day. So for now, uh, this is how we come to uh, the closure. To everyone watching us on Papare TV, thank you very much. And this is where we end uh, the uh, live stream for Papare TV. And uh, all this coming to you from the race course in Norelia. And this is the RTC Governor's Cup 2024. Balang <laughs>